Psychotic. Hell on Earth. Take Sexually off. ambiguous. Let's fuck. You think this is funny? Get them off! Welcome to another study of gaming. Today, we decipher whether there is method behind the madness as we delve deeper into the backstory of Trevor Phillips. Born and bred in Canada, Trevor claims he grew up in five states, two countries, 14 different homes, three care homes, two correctional facilities, with eight fathers and one beautiful damaged flower of a mother. As a child, Trevor faced the difficulties of a horrific childhood. He was abused by at least one of his eight fathers, and his mother saw him as a useless boy. This upbringing affected Trevor's mental state immensely, giving him a storied history with anger issues. You really are a sad excuse for a man. The worst excuse, Trevor! Violent impulses and rage attacks, and leading to incidents such as sodomizing his hockey coach with a hockey stick, strangling musicians with their own instruments, and burning down shopping malls. Despite his earlier setbacks in life, Trevor found a love in flying aircraft, enlisting in the Royal Canadian Air Forces to pilot fighter jets. But mere days after completing his training, Trevor was deemed unfit for the Air Force due to his mental state and discharged for life. After this, Trevor became a drifter, floating around the borders of the country and committing petty crimes aimlessly. While escorting cargo over the border, Trevor met both his best friend and his worst enemy, Michael Townley. The two began committing crimes together, either to just get along and earn some money, or just for the thrill of it. After dumping a body in a lake, the two decided to take their criminal partnership further and started to steal. Their first robbery did not go smoothly. They targeted a Czech cashing establishment and Trevor was subsequently sent down for four months prison time as the clerk turned out to be someone Trevor knew. During the time Trevor spent in prison, Michael formed a relationship with a stripper, his soon to be wife Amanda, which obstructed his and Trevor's partnership as Trevor felt Michael was going soft. In reality, Michael didn't want to jeopardise the safety of his two children Jimmy and Tracy. In turn, Trevor enlisted in the help of Brad Snyder, who joined the partnership and helped commit the robberies. It was part of Trevor's plan to cut off Michael and work solely with Brad, but fate would have otherwise. North Yankton, 2004. Trevor, along with Michael and Brad, devised a plan to rob a small town bank. The plan was to rob the joint and head to a helicopter that was waiting for them to escape the police forces. However, the car they used to get to the helicopter after the robbery was hit by a train, forcing the trio to continue on foot. They were ambushed by the Federal Investigation Bearer, who shot Brad dead and injured Michael. Trevor fought valiantly to save his friend, but Michael told Trevor to leave without him. Believing Michael to be a goner, Trevor fled the scene. Believing Michael had died in North Yankton, Trevor made a new life for himself in the desert town of Sandy Shores, San Andreas. He developed an addiction to crystal meth and formed a partnership with Ron Jakowski, Wade Herbert and a meth cook named Chef. The group created a business known as Trevor Phillips Industries and specialised in weapon trading and the distribution and cooking of crystal meth. Trevor quickly made his presence known forming rivalries with gangs such as the Aztecas, the O'Neill Brothers and the Lost Motorcycle Club, setting into motion the events of Grand Theft Auto V. A maniac. Chaotic. Scarily perverse. Good to see you. 
Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. I had a nice new tits, by the way. Trevor Phillips' personality alone makes Grand Theft Auto V one of the best titles of our generation, and his attitudes to life represent the inner chaos residing in every one of us. He's the perfect union of fun, chaos, and destruction. Criminals come in many shapes and forms, but none as intimidating and ruthless as Trevor Phillips. Thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video leave it a like and join me next time for another episode of A Study of Gaming.